like say, uh, like the it's 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 okay. Also, to avoid uh, going into a lot of uh, thinking about selecting a, a picture, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, and you? Yeah, license plates? License plates? <laughs> I did a similar thing. This is my other phone background. You know, I had two images. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I clicked between them. Um, and this is a painting by an artist uh, called Simon Stolenhag. He's this is a Swedish. painting? Yeah, so it's a computer painting made of, like, on the computer. Um, and he's one of my favorite artists. Um, and it's... Um, so he works on these like huge canvases, but they're on, the, on a screen, and then he draws. Um, and this is from a book that he made called The Electric State. I think that's The Electric State. Maybe it's one of the other ones. But yeah, I, I love this painting. I think it's very cool. And how it goes from like brown to like green to red into blue. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's nice. That's like uh, Ukraine with an annex. <laughs> yeah. 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 Which, which is maybe too ironic to mention around this time. Um, Perhaps. Luckily, I'm not from the Ukraine, though, right? You're not from Ukraine? You, you, you do look the part. I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, well, I guess, yeah, you do. Beautiful. Well, it's here, we're supposed to interact with it. We're supposed to interact with it. Yes. Well, we're supposed to be whatever we want, I think. Lovely photos. She started very meticulously studying our reactions to oh, these pictures are here because yeah. uh, she wants us to uh, interact with our content or something, and so she just wants to yeah. see what... It's like an escape room? No. I, I hope, well, a room you can escape from. Yeah. yeah. To, of An course, escape but escape room. from. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know this artist. I forget their name though, but I have seen them before. Um, he looks distressed. Yeah. But it's uh, like all the images are like, um, like this where they like have a face and then they cut them out and sometimes it's like a cat head oh, and it's a human body. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's like a real life collage. Yeah, 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 Photographed, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but like this... They, they all look like this when they staple together. I see. A jacket. Something useful if we had had the time to prepare for this... If we, if we, if we knew this... There, there were going to be pictures and such, would be funny also to, uh, I don't know, plan on a, a bunch, like, uh, select a bunch of images that have nothing to do with this and discuss them I'm looking at this. Yeah. So, so it's, that, that would maybe add some interest to the project, but <laughs> we might miss the mark completely. And that, that's, that, was, that was here already. Right. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> 
I feel like I'm uh, looking at a, an art exhibit, except I am the art exhibit. What if it's... Well, again, would probably, perhaps, make it interesting. By starting to fight each other? Uh, well, that too, of course. <laughs> but, uh, it, it's punching the camera or something, you, yeah. is that what you were uh, s body languaging? Yeah, that's what I want to do right now. If I was looking at my feelings wheel, it would say violence. Right, right, right. And then right. punch the camera. <laughs> Just because it's the first one you look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It would be very funny to apply those kinds of emotions to talking about to, to talk about uh, moderate weather. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How am I feeling about the weather? Like, very angry. Angry? I can't remember my feelings wheel now. I should have brought it in here. The, 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 the central idea has to be Average, like yeah, moderate, mm. and the emotion has to be very violent. Yeah, that can be another social experiment. Um, what do we think about this room? I think this room is very white. It reminds me of Swedish architecture. It reminds me of Swedish interior design, which is a stark white and nothing going on. Comparable to the woods. Uh, yeah. Except the woods is like even more interesting than Swedish interior design, which is boring. Is interior design here a contrast to interior design in Sweden? Yeah. I, I'm not like good at interior design. I just think that Swedish design is ugly. Everything's just white and a box. And that's all. I see, so... Unbusiness and boredom are a problem. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's why you escape the country. Escape. Is that the primary reason? No. <laughs> I don't have that much of a reason. I just follow where the wind takes me. Right. This drawing, or it's not a drawing, it's a photo, looks like a drawing that I studied not that long ago, and so does this. Well, which is kind of scary. Just studied while it, what? Like, um, we at school, um, we're talking about narrative and like story structure or how you show a story visually and um, it was like if you have a room with a bed in it and there's someone laying on the bed how can you like hypothetically position a camera in that room to show them when they have different emotions right, it was right, like right, that right. was the thing but of course drawing not with the camera or, or even what they're doing no yeah yeah. Um, but those images look very similar. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I could be in here walking around for circles for hours, but... Well, uh, if, if you did that, I'd, I'd join you. <laughs> cool. Glad I know I have a companion in walking around in circles. Yeah, I wouldn't want you to walk around in circles in this kind of situation alone. That's true. That's very kind of you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. These walls are hollow. Do you have any fun facts? Fun facts? Uh, I'm bald. This is a wig. <gasps> I'm kidding. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't believe you. Uh, my fun fact is uh, figs, you know figs like the fruit? Yeah. They are not vegetarian. Because figs are made by, or like in nature, it, it's a flower. And then a wasp crawls inside of the flower. And it gets trapped in there because the hole gets smaller. And then it will die. And it get, that gets diluted into the flower, which turns into a fruit. So every fig has a wasp in there, or it can't be a fig. That's, that's a fun fact. Yeah. It, 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 it should be perhaps primarily a twisted fact, but it is a fun fact. It's very fun. <laughs> uh, it's, it, is it always the same species of bug, or, or it can be any bug? Because that's interesting. It's always a wasp, because the wasps themselves crawl in there 
Um, it's usually female wasps who lay eggs, so like they crawl in there for the safety um, of like nothing else can go get into the flower, because then they lay eggs and the babies are small enough to get out. But so other creatures just don't fly in there. But maybe there's some fix with other creatures I don't know. It's kind of hilarious that uh, creatures. Uh, configured to uh, do that. Yeah. There, there, are, there are a lot of pictures with beds in it, especially two two beds, and uh, this is suggestive of a bed. So that it's like she's trying to know how we feel about sleep. Yeah. Never <laughs> supposed to be sleepy. Or maybe this is like a dream. I feel like we're trying to crack a puzzle and there is no puzzle, you know what I mean? It, yeah, perhaps that was the puzzle, is realizing that, that that's no puzzle, this is, is not a puzzle. But also, we were never told that it was a puzzle. <laughs> we just really want it to be. Yeah, well, that, <laughs> that uh, is, uh, she, she could uh, cut just this part of the, the yeah. experiment and make it a little story. Us conceiving a, a, the, of this as a yeah. puzzle and then realizing it's not in five seconds. Yeah. By the way, uh, before you said that Dungeons and Dragons seems like like video games you like. What what do you, what video games do you like? Uh, I really enjoyed Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, I've heard about that. Like good things about it. Well, here's another. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it, uh, I think it's particularly inspiring. Uh, I really liked Half Life. Mm. I know about it, but I haven't played it. Uh, it's uh, well, I have a similar thing to say about it. Mm. It's, uh, go ahead and do it. Mm. Uh, do you um, play video games a lot nowadays? No, I don't give myself a lot of time to play video games. I actually, I very rarely consider it, consider it although I like it a lot. Because mm. uh, I've just uh, come to associate it with uh, unproductivity. Mm -hmm. So I don't really give myself room to do so. Yeah. And also because uh, the spare time that I have is usually too short or, or, or is perceived as being too short or, well it isn't really but but uh, I guess that's that's how I feel about it if if I think about uh, approaching a video game on the time that I have uh, to do other things in the day uh, because it's, uh, it, uh, too long, too too uh, too short a time to uh, engage enough to yeah. be able to continue uh, and and get to a, a, what I imagine to be a satisfactory point of playing the game, which would be I guess finishing it mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> grasping the story from from start to finish or whatever it is. To, yeah. The only video games I play now are like multiplayer games where I can play with my friends in Sweden. But otherwise, I think similarly, I probably wouldn't play that much video games because it is a waste of time. Where well, it's like, I will spend like three hours playing a video game and then I will think, well, I could have used this time by getting in three hours of practice of drawing or something else. It's so. especially painful to, because I sometimes, I, uh, I, I, I use a stopwatch mm. to uh, count for, for how long I've been working and uh, sometimes I leave it on accidentally and I look at it after, I don't know, uh, procrastinating in various forms or watching a film or uh, going somewhere uh, uninteresting and uh, getting scared by the fact that it says something like five hours mm. have passed. And, uh, Oh no, now I realize that these five hours existed and yeah. didn't do anything that I consider productive. Yeah. And that 
span of time. Um, I'm the same way, and I I, um, I measure my life in hours. Like I plan my day in the morning or the day before, hour by hour. So I'm okay. like an hour lost is a task lost basically. Right, um, right, right, right. So yeah, but I also have problems with procrastinating. Well, I mean, who doesn't? But I that's that's an interesting question. I'd like to know. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess some people are more um, like headstrong with following through with what they say. Like if they say, oh, I will be um, finishing these, this essay today and that will take me about four hours, then they will do it, you know, right, if they right, right. physically have the time. Uh, but um, I mean, I've gotten better at it, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Look at it from the positive side. Uh, Yes, uh, and the opposite is the uh, uh, the irrational uh, system speciality. Just to 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 look at the uh, negatives mm -hmm. and the danger and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, there there must be there there must be kinds of motivations that. Uh, Make people really follow through with uh, what whatever they they think they need to do. Yeah. Uh, if, you know, if if uh, if that if if both align, like their 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 interests, their their need to do's and the, the motivation to do them. Uh, just uh, unfortunately, don't really work like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna flip that around. Yeah, 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 exactly. So sneaky and filthy. <laughs> um, yeah. I think we've been in here for 15 minutes, maybe. 15? 15. 1 5. Not 50. I see. 15. Well, they both have 5, so I'm forgiven. <laughs> Thinking about uh, saying something, don't just keep. Yeah. Think about hitting the camera. No, I won't do that. That would be so mean. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, you, you did hit me right in the face. Uh, oh yeah, the weather. Uh, oh yeah. It's it's not all that hot or. I feel uh, infuriated by. The lack of sun. Infuriated. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I, it, we, I, I was used to a lot of sun and sunny days in Portugal and uh, it's... It, I, I guess it proves... it has proven very influential to my, in my, to my mood. Uh, I don't love the heat, but I hate darkness. I see. <laughs> or like, I, I don't mind dark rooms, but like when the only dark you can get is, or any light you can get is artificial, I get into despair. Yeah, I guess, I guess I really don't like that idea as well. I found out uh, not very long ago, uh, it really does make a difference. And, and, and we are we're successfully talking about the weather, I have to say. Yeah, we are. We're pretty good at that. Well, um, I don't know, should we leave? Oh yeah, let's dance. Because, <laughs> uh, um, I don't know, what's... Should we go? I guess th this, this, is a, this is a point of the experiment, of the interaction, uh, which is, is being accounted for, uh, is, uh, is sort of planned. Uh, should we leave? Yeah, there's nothing you, to say. There's no, uh, no. I mean, we could just part of it. We could do so many things, but we don't have to. Or we. I mean, there's no need, you know. I thought I'd be more uncomfortable about 
the silence or the lack of anything. Yeah, well, it's most to like say that I'm, I'm not. Everything is okay. You know what I mean? Like it's okay to have silence and it's okay to not in here. I mean, in general, everywhere. But you know what I mean? Because there is no goal. To get when there, it, 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 it's okay for uh, no goal to be to to, to to try to be achieving any goal. Yeah. In here. Right, and, and outside too. Yeah. You're so right. So deep. It's not, it's not yeah, it, it's, uh, well, we, we've won. Yeah. Uh, it's, um, it's not that I, that I believe it, or, or that I, it's, it's just, I, I found that interesting, because I do uh, have a, a bit of a, I don't know if I can call it phobia, I guess just a, a fear of, uh, uh, awkwardness through silence and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in a point in my life where I um, reject embarrassment. Like, and I, if there's awkwardness, I just pretend there's not. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I've been dealing in a similar way with, with, uh, with embarrassment, with, with, especially with memories of embarrassment. Mm -hmm. It's just dismissed them yeah. most of the time. And, 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 and I guess that helps me. Uh, do uh, re repeat the uh, event uh, yes yes or or no or, or or anything in between it depends on what you're thinking yeah but uh, mo most likely I'll agree yeah yeah <laughs> uh, I think we should skedaddle I'm getting hungry it, yeah I guess that would be an interesting part of the experiment. Hello.